The Replace Edit feature in Avid Media Composer is very powerful but often overlooked. So in this video, let's take a look at how you would employ that in your editing process. All right, so I have a just a sort of a dummy sequence set up here. So let's just watch it a little bit here. So we have our two actresses. They're just having fun, you know, playing their games. There we go to a wide shot. Then we have this sort of sullen look there. It doesn't really go along with the video that well. I mean, it's, it's actually sort of interesting from an artistic perspective to have something, um, you know, so happiness and then show just sort of uh, despondency, but that's sort of beside the point. We want this to be all happy all the time, right? Is that's what we want. So what would we do to replace this clip right here? I have other clips in my bin here. Uh, let's, let's find a clip that would work. Actually, I think this is the one right here. You see, this here would work much better than what we have here, where they're just sitting there, not smiling, not just expressionless. This is much better. It fits, fits uh, better along with uh, this, the total concept of this sort of dummy sequence that we have going here. So how would I edit this in? Well, there's a few ways to do that in Avid Media Composer, but we're going to use Replace Edit. Let me show you one way uh, that you might uh, you might do that. We'll just use this clip here to show this. So one thing you could do, which I already have another track here, video two, which which if I didn't, I just could just hit control Y and that would give me another video track, but I have two video tracks here. So one thing I could do is, let me s just uh, find where I wanna put this in. And then I could just cut this in or I could mark I and O and try to get the length right and then cut it in and say, okay, well that's not, you know, that's not right. And I could hold down control and just pull that out. Okay, there we go. Of course, I had my, my video track two selected there. So now we look at it. Okay, well, we sort of replaced that edit. I mean, it's still down here. We could always, you know, trim it out and then drop this one down. But that, you know, that, that takes time. That method takes kind of time. We can actually replace this edit very easily and have it be exactly the length that we want. So in order to do that, first let me call up my clip. This is the clip I want. And we're not gonna have to mark ins or outs or anywhere or do anything you know crazy or hard or difficult. We can literally hit one button. So first, the first thing I wanna do is call up your clip here in your source monitor. And I'm just going to scrub through and where do you think we should start this? I could start it here where they're already smiling. That would work. But I think I'm gonna have it start about here. I don't wanna start it here because her eyes are closed. That would, that would look kind of odd. So we'll start it about right there. Now I don't have to mark an in or an out. I'm literally just parking the playhead right there. So then we'll come back over here to our actual sequence. And I don't I don't have to select the clip. I don't have to mark the clip. Although you could mark the clip, you could select it and then choose mark clip. You can do that if you want. Hit control Z. I'm just going to hold down control. I'm on Windows by the way. So control. So we lock that playhead to the beginning of that clip. Now all I have to do is hit the replace edit button. Where is the replace edit button? Well, it's hidden up here in this fast menu. So I click it once. It, you don't really see anything. It just kind of pops up. So Click and hold with the mouse and then drag your mouse down and then you'll get your little tool palette here. And right here you can see replace edit. Now watch what happens. I'll hit replace edit and boom. Didn't look like much happened because our clips were sort of similar there. I can go ahead and close this. But now look, there we go. That clip was cut in perfectly. It didn't do anything to our ending clip. It started exactly where we wanted it to start, where we marked it here in our source monitor right there. It started right there and it ended at exactly the right point. It didn't overwrite the clip we already had there. Again, you, I mean, we can do this anywhere. I can just park my playhead here. We'll just, uh, let's pull it up here a bit. And we can use overwrite, of course. But you see what overwrite did. We don't want to do overwrite. We do splice. We don't want to do splice because that's going to move everything out of the way. We just want to replace just that clip. So again, tool palette, replace edit. There we go. We have replaced that edit with our new clip. And it does not overwrite the clip that comes after it. So that's replace edit. Now, of course, you may be thinking, well, it doesn't really make sense for a 14 second sequence. Well, again, this is just this is just a little demo here. Imagine having a 20 minute video, an hour long video with tons of footage where you may just have dummy footage in there uh, that you know you want to cut to. And later on, you're going to actually get all your actual clips. Well, you can use replace edit to replace those edits very, very easily. Or if you happen to have shots that aren't quite up to par, like we had shots here, uh, that wasn't quite up to par. So we simply replace that edit very easily with just one button using that replace edit. Now, if you don't like your replace edit button sort of being hidden away in this tool palette, you can actually have it pasted to your toolbar, uh, you know, right here if you want. You can't just drag it over. You'd have to come over here into your settings 
And first we could open up keyboard, by the way, because you can actually have this on your keyboard. And let's come up here to tools and the command palette. Come over here to edit. Right here we can see the replace edit. So we can have button to button reassignment, active palette, menu to button reassignment. So if you want the replace edit button as a shortcut on your keyboard, you can simply grab it from your command palette and drop it onto any key that you want. Okay, so I could just drop it, say right there. And there we go. So now our sort of slash key there will be replace edit. And you can always remove that and change, you know, change things around however you want. Also, let me close the keyboard. As I mentioned, we can actually have this replace edit button exposed right here on our bar with all of our buttons. So we could just simply grab it and maybe I could just pop it right there. Okay, so now I can just click it, which I can just show you here just to show you. Let's just go say right here. We have our clip. We'll start it. Actually, let's choose a different clip. We'll say this one. And we'll, we could use overwrite, but we don't want to use overwrite. We'll just use replace edit. And there we go. That edit has been replaced. Of course, that was the previous edit that we had. So that doesn't make much sense. We can grab this one. And again, let's try this one. Replace edit. Very good. So there we go. That is replace edit. And one thing to take note of, you may get an error that says not enough source material. So actually, let me remove those marks. Maybe if I had it starting right here and I just hit replace edit, well, insufficient source material. Of course, that makes sense. Let me pull this back and let me pull this back. Now we should be able to replace that edit. Very good. All right, so that is replace edit. That's pretty much everything you need to know, but now I'm gonna use it basically for reels, okay? So I'm right in the middle of this edit right here uh, for a video I'm working on. And this looks good. I sort of have the whole sequence set up, but my problem is, this video here, since I'm using sort of a template, this is actually about a different piano. We have the grandeur, which is correct, but this is going to be the digital grand. As you can see, we have the digital grand playing there, and we've already replaced that edit up here. So now we need to replace that edit down here, and we're going to use the replace edit button for that. So all I need to do is change out this picture here. You can see this is a pretty complex sequence right there. All right, so... I don't want to go in and try to create another video track or pull this out and overwrite something in or whatever. I just want to replace that edit. So let me go ahead and find my footage that I need. I know that I need this picture right here. And this is a picture, by the way. So where I start this edit at, it doesn't matter. It's, there's no movement. I can start it from the beginning. I can start it from here. It doesn't, doesn't matter as long as there's enough time. You can see it's, it gives it a, a 30 seconds. So anywhere I put it, in this case, doesn't matter. But again, if you're using video, pay attention to where you are starting uh, your edit at. So I will hold on control and make sure I lock to the beginning of this clip here, this Maverick clip right there. Now I wanna make sure I deselect the tracks that I don't wanna replace here. So make sure I'm patched into the correct track. So this is video track three, which is uh, this picture right here that says the Maverick. And the other thing I need to consider, by the way, you'll see there's an effect on this. Let me go ahead and do replace edit. I'll just hit the button that we have exposed here. So there we go. Now we have replaced the edit, but now our effect is gone and the effect was actually set up perfectly. So control Z out of that. First thing I'm going to do is since we have this effect set up, let's pop into here to the effect editor. I'm going to grab this 3D warp, throw it in my bin. I can give it a name. I know this is the right pick for the end. So there we go. So now I have it forever and ever. Amen. Okay. So now what we'll do because as you, as you saw, we re replaced edit that in, and what happened? Well, we have to cut out all this stuff. We have to add the movement in there, Control Z. As you can see, there's a little bit of ease in on there. So once again, let's lock our playhead to the clip. We have our uh, picture set up here, our source material. We'll go ahead and replace that edit. Boom, there we go, very cool. Then we'll grab our 3D warp that we saved from that previous edit that we already had, that previous clip, that we already had set up, so why redo work that we don't have to redo? I'll just grab it, I'll throw it right on there, and guess what, there we go. I'm all set up and ready to go. And you saw that, it was like two or three clicks. I mean, imagine how hard that would be to do with overwrite edit, trying to splice, or try to splice things in, editing things, marking clips. You don't need to do that in Media Composer. You can use Replace Edit, a very powerful feature that is often overlooked. Of course, I'm gonna have to render this out now because I changed the, uh, the clip there but it looks pretty damn good 
if you have clips that need to be replaced and you don't want to have to try to mark everything out with ins and outs and editing things down, adding tracks and cutting things down, just use that replace edit feature, a great feature in Avid Media Composer that is often overlooked. Again, just click and hold on your fast menu, drag down to get your tool palette, or you can always go into your settings, into your keyboard settings, and you can map that to your keyboard just by using over here in tools and our command palette. And you can drop that wherever you want, wherever you want on your keyboard or wherever you want right here on your toolbar. All right, so that is replace edit in Avid Media Composer. <laughs>